everyone. Welcome to the Cher Rue Show. This is our first show for season three, and it's our Valentine's Day show. Yes. It's a Valentine's Day, very exciting, love, you know, I romance. Know. And it's our, we started our first show was it's a, a year, a year ago. Yeah. That's so, awesome, right? Yeah, we made it a year <laughs> without so, killing each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, you know, let's talk about Valentine's Day. And I got this thing, it says, the definition of a kiss. Oh, jeez. Okay, and this is what they say. <laughs> okay. To touch or caress mm -hmm. with the lips as in an affectionate greeting. Okay. It can express emotions and feelings. Which emotions and feelings? <laughs> I guess it's where you're kissing, right? <laughs> yeah. Feelings where? Okay, so now here's 10 steps to the perfect kiss. They have steps? Yeah. There are steps? I've been yeah. doing it all wrong? Yeah. I didn't have these steps. All right. I, I needed these steps when I was younger. <laughs> okay, so Our guest needs to be number quiet. one, look into the eyes okay. of the person you're kissing. Okay. okay. I'm, no, I'm not kissing. Okay, you. we're not kissing. <laughs> then you, then you. Step two is you smile. Okay. Step three is you lean in really close. Okay. You do the lean. Okay. Four, you engage in a light touch. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah. Five, you tilt because you know if you don't tilt, somebody's face always gets smushed but, together. Yeah. You know that way it kind of pre warns you which way you're going. Right. Right. Have you, like, ever, have you ever done that? Where you've gone and smushed? yeah, I think my like, one my my first kiss. Your first was, kiss. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Number six is to relax the lips. Well, you have good practice with that with your little mouth exercises. Exercises. Okay. okay. Do you then, do that? You do that after you tilt, so you go like this. <laughs> That's attractive. Hey, baby, kiss me. Then number seven is you moisten your lips. Okay. Then the best part: eight, you close your eyes. Okay. Nine, which means you, tilt. you part your lips. Okay. Now it says nine, you part your lips. That's insinuating and that you're going to be doing a French kiss. I would, Whereas yeah, yeah. I want you to know, I spoke with my mom the other night, <laughs> and she's in her 80s, and she has never had a French kiss. No freaking never. way. Never. They never <gasps> did. They never did? They right. never did. And I told her, you're missing out. Do you think it was like a old, like be generational thing? I don't know, but I feel bad for my dad. I know. You know? <laughs> yeah. What a bummer. You know? Wow. She okay. had a French kiss. What else didn't she do? All right. And so step 10... <laughs> Is you gently touch lips to theirs. Oh, so that's sweet. That's the perfect kiss. I, I like all those steps. Those are interesting. Yeah. And yeah, especially I say just, the. Leaning. I say just go for it. Yeah. That, so, who I, was your very first kiss? Um, I, do we count grade school kisses? Cause yeah. I kissed, I who kissed, was your first kiss? Actually, I kissed a boy in in kindergarten. His name was Brett. He actually ended up dating my sister later. Um, years later, but that was just that schoolyard. Was thing. it a French kiss or just no? A kiss? Oh my God, it was five. Oh, so he just yeah, came no. up and gave yeah. you a peck. Yeah, yeah. You know, the first when I was five, a guy came up and stuck his finger up my nose. <laughs> well, that's love. And that was yeah. <laughs> that's I was love. I was really upset. I cried. Uh, you know what? The funny thing is, I don't think I really remember. I remember my first good kiss. Okay, my very first French kiss yeah. was in the treehouse of my neighbors. <laughs> That where we used to go up to this treehouse, and they, the girls shoved me in there with this boy, Mickey Dietrich, and I was pretending like I was really cool, like I had French kissed, you know. I was How like, old were you? I must have been 11. 11. Oh. And so he goes, Trump. okay, and he comes over to me, and all of a sudden he sticks his tongue way down my throat. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I didn't like it because it was just like, it's creepy, huh? really, you're sticking your tongue down my throat? <laughs> That's it, you know? So. I didn't really like it, you know. But later I learned to like it. Do, yeah. I, I Do you have, like, one guy that you, like, was the best kisser you ever had? Oh, no. There were so many. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, there, I, there's always one for me that stands out. And, uh, you know. Although Brian Cool. Yeah, Brian Cool. Brian Cool like, was my first was love. Yeah. He, he was pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, good to know. <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna admit I, you know, but then I think that I think kissing is one of those things that is like, um, it's romantic. It is, and it's it's also you know, and, and, and you know, you kiss your friends and all that, and you know, and but it's not the same. It depends on who your friends are, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just Where's the best place to kiss? Um, Sight, not on the body. Oh, okay, because I was because you're in the gutter. <laughs> um. You know, I, I I hate the whole you know do it on the beach thing. I love it on the beach. Well, you, I love it at night. You put down a blanket. It's so romantic. The waves and the. I have to tell you, there is a gazebo by our house in Dana Point, um, on Green Lantern, and it overlooks the. I know that uh, place. Yeah, 
and I had dinner. We had dinner there by there the other night, and I, as we drove past the gazebo, I thought I have kissed some boys in that way. <laughs> That's the, my favorite place. I haven't done it there in a while, but uh, did a little more than kissing in that gazebo too. <laughs> yeah, TMI. <laughs> I won't be going by there. Yeah. Yeah, you'll never be able to try to buy that again. <laughs> no, but I do like the beach. Yeah, yeah. That's cheesy, but it's good. Okay, so then um, gifts for Valentine's Day. What What's the best gift you ever got? You know, I my husband has been, this since we got married um, almost three years now, has gives me these beautiful antique roses. And they're not just regular roses, but they're just, they're amazing and they're beautiful. And I, I just love them. And I know that's so cliche, but that's really the... I actually got I like a gold them. rose. I didn't know they had gold yes, roses. Yes, it's it's a rose and it's made out of gold and it's beautiful. Who gave you that? I want this um, number. Just a guy. Oh, <laughs> is that the best gift you ever got? You know, I think the best gift I ever got was oh, telling nice. me that they love me. That to me was really? you know, yeah, that to me is a good gift. Yeah, I you know I don't, I yeah I don't, a physical don't gift. I you know I'm not really. This is my deal. I have, when you have somebody who's really good in your life, it's real hard to set one day aside to just to, and make it, ooh, you know, it's the day. I mean, I feel like every day I'm treated very well. So Valentine's Day doesn't seem any different. I, I, I you know, I have friends in, uh, that are single, and so I just celebrate with them and call it Single Awareness Day. And, you know, I, and I'm more, more often than not, I'll give my girlfriends a call that I absolutely adore who are single and, and try to do something fun with them. It's nice. It's yeah. nice to do things yeah. for other people. I, can, I send my mom a Valentine's Day card and I get her a little stuffed animal or balloon. Because I, I love her. Does Valentine's Even though Day, it doesn't have to be romantic. It no. can be just love. Does Valentine's Day qualify for, you know, how you have to have birthday sex? Is Valentine's Day, do you have to have Valentine's Day sex? No. Like Christmas sex and all the Is it yeah, holiday I think sex it's a, it's Probably. Is it required? No. You I think, think it's so? just a choice. Okay. I mean, it'd be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and you might get a good present. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not getting good presents anymore. I think. <laughs> okay. We'll work on that this year. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call up. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah. Doug. See what see what happened. Ask. Yeah. You you might get to the yeah yeah because you know those requirement deals. Yeah. Okay. So now another really great um, present that I I have given in the past is love coupons. Yeah. So you get these coupons. You can either get them. They come in a booklet, or you can make, make up your, your own. Yeah. yeah. And you can get them for like, um, a, you know, I'm going to make you dinner. I'm going to give you a massage. I'm going to give you sex. I'm yeah. going to give. And then you could just go. Cash I'm going to give you in. this kind of sex. <laughs> you know, and you can. There's mis- other kinds. Well, you know what I mean. I don't want to say <laughs> it on here, but specifically, right? You know. Do you think I? You know what? I've gotten those before, and I always lose them. <laughs> I lose them. I would God, lose right. them. I, I'd cash mine in, but I'm. A, I don't usually get those. I I give those. So I mean, what I so I you go and you say, I'm turning in my. Uh, I want to have sex tonight. Card. Mm-hmm. And that's then you have to. Then you have to. You have to. Mm. That yeah, would be. A, I think those are. That's a great gift. That's a, that's a good idea. Yeah, I really do. Does it cost you much? No. Okay. Then Maybe another. A condom. A really, another one would be. <laughs> Um, you know, like a gift certificate to get a couple's massage. That's a good gift. Have you ever done that? Couple's yes. massage? Okay. Yes. I was, yeah. I don't, I'm not big on people, strangers. That's when then you hold body. hands while you're getting Aww. massaged. And while the other people watch. Yeah. There's nobody watching. They're just the two people massaging you. Yeah. Seems creepy to me, Cher. <laughs> you're creepy. <laughs> no. What else? I, 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 okay, so then the 24 karat gold rose. Yeah. yeah and have. then what about message in a bottle? Like. Oh, I've never heard of that. You could put a, a message in a bottle. And then also um, fortune cookies. They do oh. fortune cookies where you can get a, a message and put them in some fortune cookies. That's a good, I've you done that. You can throw the f- message in a bottle off the gazebo on like a Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> you just put it on your front door and yeah. when you open the door. Okay, then another one that I've done that is mm-hmm. awesome is you buy somebody a star. Oh, yeah. You know, so you yeah. go, here's a certificate. I bought you that star that we were gazing at the other night. You don't know where it is, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's pretty romantic. That's pretty romantic. Though I'd be like, how much did it cost? I think it's Cause... like $50. <laughs> They're making money. I could get a good bottle of vodka for $50. <laughs> it's <laughs> romantic. It's sorry. Okay. Jello shots. I find jello shots romantic. <laughs> okay, and then right. another one is I love you toilet paper. <laughs> Oh, it's toilet my paper and it goodness. says "I love you" all over it. Oh, great! I could think I would give that to my ex. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your ass. Oh, sorry. 
wipe your behind with this. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next topic. The best places to have sex. Oh, good God. What's the best? What's the, what's your favorite place? Oh, wow. Um, I, this is going to sound awful, but swimming pools or jacuzzis. No, no, that's not I, awful. I, I just think, you know. Not, not I've done that. Yeah. It. You're more limber. <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so these are the ones that I got off the internet. Nope. My family's never going to let me come over to the house again. <laughs> oh, yeah. You go in their pool a lot. Shh, I mean, hey, I never, no, never shh, happened. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> okay. Um, in the bed with satin sheets. Really good one. Oh, slippery. On the beach at night. That's my favorite. Too much sand. Hot air balloon. Woohoo. Oh, my ass would fall out. <laughs> You get that shit rocking, you're you're you're, you're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, the only thing I was thinking about that one. I don't want to go that is, way. Like you're on the hot air balloon having sex. Who's, Who's driving? driving? That's right. Who's driving? Yeah. And if they're driving, are they watching <laughs> or are they joining in? You know, it's like I don't know. That's kind wow. Of, that's a little too much for me. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Then yeah. this is another good one. Waterfall. That would be fun. That would I'm be all about really the water. Fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Water's good. Hot tub. Yeah, see? Woo-hoo. Okay. Um, and then what about, I've done this one. Oh, God. I'm afraid to know. Love in an elevator. You've done it in an elevator? How many floors did you have to go up? No. Did you push the button? I push the button. But then people know. I don't care. You walk out, you're trying to fix your hair. You know, you're like, you know. Is that what no, you that really? was so, it's very exciting. In an elevator. I've never it's done it. It's been years, though. It's been years. Yeah, because you have to be flexible. Yeah, and young. And young. Yeah. yeah. And quick. Yeah. Not so quick anymore. It depends on who you're with, I guess. Yeah. Very yeah. fun. So those are some tips for Valentine's Day. Oh, great. Now they're all going to think we're a bunch of perverts. <laughs> Kendra's in the gutter. This is Kendra's new name. Kendra in the gutter. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, know I to, love you. I've it's tail- Valentine's I Day. I love you. I tailored it back quite a bit. You're, I, you're I, pretty I'm good. You're pretty good. good. Okay, yeah. so you know what? Let's watch... <laughs> Uh, I did a cooking segment with Jen, uh, yes. and uh, let's see what we cooked up. Look out. And a commercial, and we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. We're doing our Valentine's Day show cooking segment with Jen from CaliforniaCountryKitchen.com, and we are going to bring some tasty stuff that you can uh, make for your Valentine, because it's a really great time to do sweets, which I like. I like and it's super easy because you don't want to waste too much time in the kitchen on Valentine's Day. No, right? because we have other things in mind, you know what I mean? Way more important. So this is something you can share with your Valentine or just make it for yourself. Make it's a Valentine. <laughs> okay, so what, what is it and what are we doing? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not sure exactly what to call it, um, but I'm going with double chocolate and chocolate. And, and this is? That's chocolate pudding. I know, it's so easy, but I made it ahead of time. You can go on a bite. Gonna take a bite? <laughs> <laughs> One of it all. Okay, chocolate pudding is so easy. Two cups of milk and a pack of chocolate pudding, whisk it up, throw it in the fridge. Good. So, what I'm gonna have you do, get these two little cups. Okay, so you're gonna fill these about halfway uh-huh. full with chocolate pudding. Okay. And then just kind of flatten it on there so it's like that. So more. it's nice and even. Like that? Yeah. Okay, you do that. Oh, a little bit more. A little more? Indulgence. We have to indulge. I'm good at that. Yes. And then, okay, this looks a little weird, but it's milk chocolate chips with just a half a tablespoon of butter. And well, what it does is it melts all the chocolate chips, then you mix up the butter in with the chocolate, and when you put it on top, it makes this hard shell. Then you just kind of crack through it, and it's just yummy in your mouth. So we're going to pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds and melt it. Pop it. You know what I like about this pudding? I don't know what it is that you made, but it's like, it's not like, you know, some pudding's like really hard. This pudding is like really... Because I made it with love. Fluffy. Love. Yeah, that's the main, that's the main uh, ingredient when you're cooking. The main ingredient when you're cooking is to put in the love. Okay, so now that we've got it, see how yummy that is? It's all melted. Mmm. There's a little bit of butter because you can never have too much butter. Too. Look at the colors though. This is dark. This is lighter. Yeah. That kind of like a mocha. It's just a little different. Yeah. This is milk chocolate. Oh, okay. That's more of a dark chocolate. I like the dark. Okay. So 
now that we've got this, a nice little sauce. Mm -hmm. It's all mixed together, and in theory, you never know. We're just gonna put that over the top. Okay, I could do that. Don't you have to melt the other one? Yeah, just don't make, make sure it stays on top. Okay. It doesn't mix in. Okay, just put a dollop on there. A dollop? Is not like the sour cream thing? <laughs> do you like the dollop? Oh no, you can't say that for <laughs> I just said sour cream. I didn't... Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna melt the white chocolate chips. Okay. Okay. These are for us. Notice that I made it into a heart. Aww. They're so good. I'm gonna pop these in there for 30 seconds. Okay, I got it on the side. I'm sorry. <gasps> no. It's almost like frosting your jello. Yeah. Hey, you can never have too much chocolate, all right? It doesn't matter what kind it is. <laughs> that's probably enough. You think? No, that's, that, that's mine. I don't think it's enough. <laughs> can it ever be enough chocolate? Never. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yum, yum. Super easy. Now what? Now these are. Are these done? done? 60 seconds. Not yet. No? Here's some powdered sugar. Okay. Shake a little powdered sugar over the top. Okay. This sounds pretty. Some more. A little more. Pop. There you go. Shake it. <laughs> okay. Shake what your mama gave you. Oh, that looks so pretty. Doesn't that look pretty? Yes. It looks like a cake. That's not a cake. It looks oh. kind of like a souffle, too, you know? It looks really fancy and hard to do, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. I might need to cut these in again. Okay. A little more. Okay, you know, you're leaving this pudding here with me. Don't eat it! I know you want to, but don't do it. I so. You can eat that one. <laughs> I so. <laughs> Now that our white chocolate is melted, mm -hmm. we're gonna whip it together. These are great dishes for melting. Yeah, they're called ramekins. Okay, so you know what that is? Mm -hmm. Now grab your strawberries. Is it gotta be wet or dry? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what? Just dip it in there. It's not sticking, it's not sticking. There, there, there okay. you go. You just gotta get more on it. Try it, believe me. Okay. Oh, you mean it doesn't go on here? No, no. It'll sink. That's for you hand defeating your love. Oh. Okay, okay so then. <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> put some more Well, there's not that much left. Well, that's because you put a hook on there. Because I love it. I like it. Let me, let me share some with this guy over here. In theory, they, they would show them a little bit neater. But it's your show. You can ask if you want to. <laughs> and you can also do that. <laughs> Just like him. Yeah. She did, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> mm. So now what do we do with this? We put, put these over there. Put this on here. Mm -hmm. Put that over there. And serve so it up to you. are going to serve it to your... Uh, Love Valentine, it. and you're gonna, um, what are you gonna do with the strawberry? You're gonna feed it to him. What are you gonna do? You're gonna take it like that. Smash it around! Mmm, that's good! I'm not sure how romantic that is. It's really good! <laughs> really good! <laughs> Crap. Hey, Bex. Enjoy. <laughs> we'll see ya. Yeah, <laughs> Come on and knock me a kiss.
Curvilicious fashion wear. From casual wear to club wear, dresses and handbags. Curvilicious fashion wear is your online trusted source for comfortable, classy, plus size fashion. Order your next outfit at curviliciousfashionwear.com. California Country Kitchen. A fun little blog on all things yummy. You can find delicious and simple recipes at CaliforniaCountryKitchen.com. Okay, that was so <laughs> yummy. That and you made a mess. You guys made it. It was it was, it was good. good. And I'm a chocoholic, so all that chocolate, I was like in a coma. We were like crazy after. I mean, we probably should have just gone home after that because it was. I swear it was. It was I was comatose all the way yeah, home. She was. All it that was, sugar. Yeah, it was. But, but it, it was it so was good. good. And very, I love the little ramekins and the heart and everything. That was super cute. Mm -hmm. That's. I mean, I can't stay away from chocolate. Oh, see, I just don't care. That's like my drug. Yeah, give me chicken fried steak. I'm, no, I'm see, a, yeah. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Yeah, I do chocolate. She does chocolate. But, you know, ice cream is my favorite. Yeah, ice cream. Okay, so it's Valentine's Day, so Yay. we have a special friend who we've sort of been following her love life around. <laughs> I'd like to introduce <laughs> Michelle Greenleaf. Yay. Hi, Michelle. Hi. She's back. Hi. Valentine's Happy Valentine's Day, <laughs> and we all know Hello. your your uh, your fiance lyric. Yeah. And we'll be talking about him in a little bit. But let's start out with, um, so you were looking for love on the show More to Love. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. And that was the wrong no. places. That was, with, that was with the Bob guy, right? No. No. Um, I don't even remember his name anymore. Oh, that's good. You don't remember his name. I that's don't. even better. Okay, that's even better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> douchebag? Douchebag. No, I'm just <laughs> You know what? It was a great experience. I actually did it to... Um, for women empowerment, plus size women empowerment, kind right. of, you know, I was thought it'd be a cool thing to represent. Show no, we were glad of, you yeah, did. It was a little bit, but it was a good show. I thought it, it was, was his loss. He got, he got rid of you right away, and I'm yeah. thinking, no, that was not right. Yeah. yeah. I even told him, Luke. That's right, Luke. I told him, Luke. Luke. I saw him, and Luke. I told him you made the wrong choice, but it was good because you got Larry. So. Right. Exactly. Okay. So, do you feel that um, Luke was really looking for love? No. He was just there for TV. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we get, I, I don't I haven't been watching The Bachelor, but I, I kind of, you know, watch new people who do. I don't think any of those people are really, I mean, how many things kind of ended up maybe one or two? Right. Yeah. Well, you, you know what? I think we're all looking for love. Sure. But was, you know, maybe, maybe he was hoping to find love, but. He didn't. You know, I mean, it's a reality show. It's it's hard, yeah. to, it's hard to find love on a reality show. Yeah. Yeah. So. Were the girls freaking crazy like they were? Did they call each other's eyes out and stuff? <laughs> I, I was only there the one night. I, yeah, well, so, I, that's uh, luck. I would, I would yeah, think that'd be in that. Yeah, I was that. only the one night, and uh, I, I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was some of that going on afterwards. Oh, good Lord. Do you think that he liked bigger girls? Uh, you know, I had the best intentions hoping he did, but meeting him later down the road at, a, at mm -hmm. an event of yours, no, I don't think he really did. Yeah. You know, I think that they, maybe the producers thought that he was a good choice. Mm -hmm. He was a good representation. Because he was a big guy, so. Right. It was like, oh, look how sweet. Big right. guy, big, big girls. girls. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> nah. No. But he doesn't, you know, really, most bigger girls don't date bigger guys. Some do. Right. But most right. of them, right. you know. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. No, no. it could be anyway. There's no, no rule. There is no right. rule. No, yeah, you're right. right. So. Silly. Um, do you feel that some of the women that went on the show had low self-esteem? Um, the few I talked to did not. Watching the show, being seeing how we were all portrayed, I thought, wow, I had no idea. Why would you go on a show like this if you had such low esteem? I would, if I had that low self-esteem, I'd be on the couch hiding under the covers. Right. So, you know, I was like, hey, I'm a confident, plus-size, beautiful woman. That's why I'm doing this show. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I'm, I'm not, oh, woe is me. I, I can find a man. I just right. can't find a good, I couldn't find a good man. Right. One that respected me and respected himself and treated me like a lady. So, um, yeah, I saw the show, and there was a few girls on there that, I don't know, they just didn't uh, feel like they loved themselves, you right. know, and, and that was really sad that it got portrayed that way, because right. there's so many confident plus-size yeah. women out there that 
do love themselves. I agree. So. But you have to love yourself before you can find love. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can't you can't have one without the other. No. Well you I do agree. and you get what you put out there. You, do. you know, you put out that negative you put out that negative vibe, negative energy about right. yourself, that's what you're gonna attract. Exactly. I know I did it for a long yeah. time. Yeah. No. And you know, I did too. I took the yeah. L off of my forehead. No more losers. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you have found re- love recently. Tell us how this is different from the other guys you dated. Um, well, you know, it's pretty, um, pretty eye opening. Um, it was, I still remember it was like New Year's Eve, 2009. You introduced me to Lyric and he was with somebody else. And I thought I saw him and I thought he is a really nice person. He looks like he's a nice person, Mm -hmm. you know, from his smile and his eyes and just something about him. And he is right. And so then I think I ran into him at the spring fling again and I, I was, Made me just a little excited to see him. Even though I knew he was with somebody, it was like, I kind of get to see that guy again. Anyway, um, and then I got the phone call that he was single. And I was excited. <laughs> I love it. She's jumping up for joy. He's single, he's single. <laughs> Who gets a phone call that says, dude, he's single? It's like this underground thing. Dude, he's, they're I did. single now. His buddy yeah. called, and, and I was like, hi. <laughs> and he's like, my, my, my dude's single. And I was like, well, who's your dude? Yeah. And he's like, Lyric. And I was like, yeah. and I was like, really? <laughs> All cool, comical, really? He's like, yeah, can I give him your number? And I was like, Certainly. So I was all cool and calm. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Yeah, well, tell him to call me. Yeah. And then you're sitting there waiting by the phone. Call me, damn it. Call me. <laughs> so um, he, he texted me. How do I know it's different? It's, um, he's like my best friend. Yeah. And you that's know? important. It is so important. Um, I, he loves me for me. I'm, I'm myself, which mm-hmm. is amazing. And um, I love spending time with him. The days where you want to be on the couch with no one around, I want him next to me. Aww. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's so, romantic. So that's neat. Yeah, you know, you just. So okay, so we we actually we filmed been kind of stalking them. Yeah, we yeah. we've been uh, watching your progress and it's a little embarrassing. It was a very big surprise when uh, you know he asked you to marry him, yeah. and uh, <laughs> that what, was why really don't funny. we show that it right a now? Huge yeah. surprise. We'll why we're gonna take a look at that. Okay. So. Now. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Miss. Now, if you recognize Michelle, it's not because she's my girlfriend because I'm not that popular. What it's from was she was on a show called More to Love, which is basically The Bachelor for Big Girls. Woo! Michelle, yeah. Michelle, unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, yeah. went home the first week. Do you know why he went home the first week? Yeah. Uh, I think he wasn't really into my girls. <laughs> That's what you think. The, the truth is, it's because God made you for me. Yeah. That's not, that, that wasn't for him. He never could. That choice wasn't even his. So I know that in doing all that, that that made you feel, you know, frustrated, rejected, probably just all kind of mixed up feelings. I get it. But let me prove to you right now that I will feel never, ever, as long as you live, I give you my word, feel that way again. Michelle Rose. I know. I, I was in on it. <laughs> was shocked. I found out everyone knew but me. Absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, I thought he was nervous because of the show, and then I showed up, and my mom is there because he had been like, I'm trying to get your mom there. And I, she showed up, and I was like, oh, she showed up for yeah. him. <laughs> right? And then he performed, and it was awesome. And, um, you know, actually, someone called me away, and I came back, and my mom had a rose, and my brother had a rose, and I was like, I what's with get the a rose? Roses. Yeah, what's up I with the roses? Because we all had we roses. We all had roses. I was like, I miss the rose fairy. I want a rose. <laughs> you got them all, baby. <laughs> I did. I did. So after he performed, he was he was supposed to have said a happy birthday to somebody. And I was like, thank you. He remembered. And then he calls me on stage. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> what is this? Right? And 
then he popped the question, and it was just amazing. Your face oh, was amazing. <laughs> he really, really pulled but it off. I like the part where he says, um, you didn't get the other guy because God, God made, made you, you for me. me. Yeah. That was yeah. so romantic. Yeah. I mean, that was beautiful. Yeah. And you're crying. I know. He really surprised me. He did a really great job. Are we going to stock them in the delivery room? <laughs> I'm just concerned Maybe. here. <laughs> Maybe. If you just, give us a year. I introduced give us about a year and a half. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We're going to have to show up for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it hurts. You all yeah. know. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> so, yeah, they're getting married. Um, When's the Matt wedding? April 21st. April 21st. So we'll get oh. some clips of that. And you, you guys can come along with the saga of <laughs> Lyric and Michelle and their big romance. Yeah. Are I you mean, having a bachelorette party? Uh, <laughs> we, we are doing a duel. Together. Oh, together. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's how we roll. We like everything I mean, yeah. together. I mean, that's how it, it, it just, just feels good. Horrible. It's and like, where I don't is need this to. Gonna be? <laughs> Um, we're still trying to figure the logistic that. out. We're still trying to figure all that out. Yeah. Just yeah, dual party. But yeah, huh? we're doing a dual party. Yeah, yeah. and we're I'm just... totally okay with that. I think, yeah. you know, it's awesome. He can strip for me. I yeah, well, yeah. Smash. I'll show up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stripping. <laughs> oh no, I was good. No, 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 I won't. I promise. That's exciting. She'll be dancing on the tables. Very I probably good. will. That pro- Very yeah, good. I probably will. <laughs> Woo, jello shots. Jello shots. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll make special whoever created jello shots. I don't know, but yeah. we should give them an it's award. Unique. We, should, <laughs> we should make jello shots with one of these little hearts in the I bottom. Know. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I love these. It's these not a bad so, idea. These are so creative. We could heart do that. throb, so does that mean I'm my own heart throb? Yes. Oh, okay. I love okay. you, Lyric. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. We can make jello shots with those in the bottom. That'd be fun. Okay. So Valentine's <laughs> Day. Do you guys have special plans? Um, not yet. It, last year was a surprise. We um, we didn't actually do it on the day, but we both took um, a few uh, one day off, like a few days after. Uh-huh. And um, he had like a little day of surprises, and we went to the California Science Center because I totally oh. a geek. We're both geeks like that. We right. love that stuff. So we did that, and then we did the um, Aquarium of the Pacific, and Ooh. then we went to Medieval Times. That's oh, a good day. It was so fun. That's a really yeah. great day. It was a great day. He's a good planner. That's great. Yeah. It's always good to have a guy who's a good planner. Who's I good. like that, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, It's not like, what do you want to do? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you want to do? No, yeah. he, no he, really, he really loves he takes to initiative. Think, in, think what I like and then plan for that and just surprise me. I mean, my birthday, he just... Mystery dinner theater on the boat. It was so fun. Aww. We oh, laugh. Yeah. We need to clone him. Oh, he's he's a good guy. We are so happy for you. Yeah. Okay, so everybody at home, the key to uh, a great relationship is having your best friend. It, I, it's it's a hundred percent true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for yeah. you, my best friend. Where <laughs> right. are you? Right. Yeah. I mean, I I have, my husband was my friend before. I had no intentions. I mean, right. I was like, I am not getting married again. Ain't gonna happen. Forget it. And he friended, he was my friend, and he was, you know, just listened to me talk when I even was talking about the guys I was dating. And now I look back and go, I can't believe I told him that. <laughs> but he was my friend first. Yeah. Well, this whole, till next Valentine's Day, I'll be looking for my new best friend. <laughs> hey, how hey. you doing? Are you my best friend? <laughs> my BFF. You know who my BFF is? Ruby. Ruby, yeah. Aww. Well, she's a good Valentine. She's my best friend. She's my Valentine. She's my everything. Well, we were talking yeah. about kissing. I, you know, just, I kiss uh, Ruby, but we don't French. I, <laughs> oh, I mean, some does people she, that do French, does she they're not. try, but they try actually. No, she doesn't try. She doesn't try. She knows the, the parameters. Yeah. She knows. Now, we snuggle. But I, we were talking about best kisses. I'm assuming Lyric is your best kisser? He, he is. And oh, I, good answer. And I have to say that... The French kiss is awesome, but my favorite is when we just go in to kiss and he just keeps his lips against mine for just a second longer. It's my favorite ever. I was like, always tell him, you make me melt. It makes me melt. It's just the Aww. sweetest thing, you know, because, yeah, it's just nice. I love when you guys post your little pictures. They go different places, <laughs> and then they do this heart thing oh, on yes. their face everywhere oh, they yeah. go. Then, yeah. And we're looking at it, it's like, oh, it's so romantic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I almost have a stomach ache with all this. Oh, sh- and <laughs> randomly, if there's a slow song, he'll pull me aside and we have to slow dance. It's awesome. We slow dance Aww. in our living room. Yeah. We slow it's, dance in our living room sometimes. It's awesome. Yeah, we put on, um, do you guys have, do you guys have a song? Uh, he is the song guy. Yeah, I was going to say. Did he write you a song? He oh, he did, did write you a yeah. song. He did write me a song. But is that your that song? That is called, real, really romantic. It's, uh, it's called Just Hold Me. 
Oh. Yeah, it's really sweet. Have you ever heard Sheena Easton's The Nearness of You? No. You need to listen to that. That is, yeah. We rearranged the office furniture in his Aww. office once to that song. You know that's another I mean. great thing, <laughs> you know, to, to yeah, pick a song. Yeah. That's a romantic thing, or to write a song, or My write a poem. My husband makes a CD, like, for Mother's Day, he makes a CD for the for all the women in the family, Aww. puts all their favorite songs on it every year. Right. So, you know, and it's easy. Right. You guys can do that. Well, and then when you date a DJ, which I have, he yeah. makes you little CDs. Mixtapes? Yep, yeah. those are cool. The love those story mixtapes, little, little uh, I love you, let's get it on. Yeah. All those little songs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, move out, yeah, move from the funky to the, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I, I want to kiss you all over. You know that song? I love that song. <laughs> well, everybody. So, um, there, there's one song that um, he played for me because he's always like, "Listen to the song," and it was this. Is, I don't know who it was by, but the lyrics was like, "How many times will you let me change my mind? Well, um, you'll, I'll fall, but you'll catch me." It was like that's so him. Right. He had to work really hard to get my love, though. I had so many trust issues, and he so persistent and so just there. Right. It's because he knew God said that you were for him. He knew that. <laughs> so, you know, they're patient. he's patient. And, you know, everyone has baggage. Everybody. And, yeah. and the love and the communication and um, just the caring to get through those things together, mm -hmm. it keeps getting you tighter and tighter and tighter. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's Louis Vuitton baggage, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like... Uh, <laughs> Oh my God! Sorry. <laughs> so that's a good that's a good Valentine's Day gift. That, that I'm, I'm, is, yeah, I'll take that, that too. Is. But yeah, everybody has baggage, and everybody brings something to the table. It's right. how you deal with it, especially you know for us who are a little bit older and may have been in a, a marriage or two right. or three or four. <laughs> But I'm know. bringing ice cream to the table. <laughs> Vanilla, right? <laughs> but it's, it's it's a good thing. You yeah, you always have to you have to have maintain that friendship. That's not to say you don't get in fights. It, right. You have to. You do. Right. You do. But mm -hmm. it's it's how you get through them and, uh -huh. and that you do get through and them. And you can fight but you can you like, fight fair. You you learn to fight Calm. fair because Calm. Yeah. It, There's no it reason it to be abusive or yell. No. And you have to you have to realize the other person's not attacking you. Right. No, I mean that's right. so important because I mean if you've been in a relationship where you can't communicate and you feel like no, you're you attacked, have to communicate. You're gonna react that way. Yeah, you Absolutely. have to communicate. You know? Or you're gonna hold it in and it's gonna be horrible. Yeah. yeah. So but and you, have, and you don't get any right. <laughs> You know then she goes again. <laughs> you don't get any? Is that what you said? <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> then you're like, here's my coupon. Here's, here's my I'm, coupon. I'm cashing this in. I'm going to get a coupon uh, book for Doug to give you. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of them. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But we, we you know, I, I think she's absolutely right. And I think that this is a good testament to see how people can bring their issues to the table, work through a relationship, right. and, you know, and, and, and being confident about who you are and finding the right person and not settling for something absolutely. that you... Absolutely. You do not settle. People, I they, so people do not change. Settling. Right. They do. Yeah, yeah. What, when you meet somebody, it's what they are is what they are. They do not change. You can't fix them. Right. Right. So. No, and you can't. Go, I mean, I, I want to shake some of these women sometimes and go, why are you settling for this? You're right. so much better. Yeah. You know, I was telling her well, before we came out, I said, if something ever happens to my husband, I will never remarry again. I really won't. I will become a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get Sharon in an elevator. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Not just stay away from the elevators. But, you know, because I, I don't want to go through the dating thing again. Right. I'm over it. Dating and so I feel You can date yourself. I go to the movies by myself. I go to eat yeah. by myself. I love myself. That's good. You know? Yeah. Love yourself. I, you know, I, I'm waiting for the right person. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. you know, and, and you know what? Would it be so horrible if there was never somebody in your life ever again? No. So I always think that. I got the dog for now. And you love yeah. yourself. Right. You have, to, you have to be comfortable with yourself. Can I spend time with myself? Absolutely, yeah. Because that's really important. I'm and afraid. I'm really funny to myself, <laughs> too. I amuse myself. <laughs> and I have the same taste as myself when it's sci-fi <laughs> Louis Vuitton. You know? yeah. Louis Vuitton. I can buy myself the Louis Vuitton. Only, the only person you have to share the remote with is your other hand. See? <laughs> What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? The same thing you want. Uh, my my puppet people. Yeah. But then, yeah, I think she's right. So it's good to kind of watch you guys evolve. We are very we're happy right. for yeah. you. Yeah, and happy. we're going to keep watching and yeah. keep watching. And keeping awesome. all our viewers up on the awesome. Michelle and Lyric uh, marriage that's coming up. Yeah. And thanks so much for joining oh, us. Well, I'm honored. I'm honored. Just, I just want the women to be patient. Don't rush into anything. Right. It's not worth the rush. I, no, you got to get to know the person. First relationship with that 
the long distance I rushed it I wanted it so bad it was so wrong I couldn't see it right. but it taught me that I can be loved and it set me up for this relationship that's fabulous. awesome so well, we're yeah. looking forward to, to so, all the upcoming yep and, we're waiting yeah. and the delivery room Okay, guys. Well, happy Valentine's Day to yeah, you all. Yay. I hope your Valentine's Day is spectacular. And if it isn't, you can email me, and I'll email you back and and you know give you some support. And uh, thanks, Kendra. You're welcome. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. And until next time, bye, guys.